You're watching Startup Central with me, Nantara Rai. When it comes to space, here's a big move by India, and it's by Indian space startup Agnikul. First, watch this video. So what you just saw was Agni Kul, the space startup launching India's first single fully 3D printed cryogenic rocket engine. I'm going to be discussing that and more with uh, Agni Kul's uh, co-founder, Professor Satyanarayanan, who's joining us. Uh, Agni Kul, if you remember, was also in the news some time back. It's been backed uh, by Anand Mahindra. Professor Satyanarayanan, thank you so much for joining us here on Startup Central. You explain to us and our viewers why this is a game changer, why it is so important in India's space program. Uh, early on in our plans, we wanted to actually embrace 3D printing in a big way. Uh, 3D printing is something that is uh, essentially going to be a game changer and provide a level playing field for people across the globe, regardless of what their initial starting points were in terms of technology readiness and so on. The reason being, it essentially eliminates a lot of uh, need for precision assembly and the time taken for doing all of that stuff it, uh, uh, with, with the kind of quality control that is uh, needed for something that's a space vehicle. So uh, we wanted to see how best we can utilize this, which essentially means that we want to see what is the maximum number of components that we can assemble all of all together in a single shot uh, and just completely 3D print it. And that's exactly what we have achieved uh, over the last couple of years of design, uh, which is practified in the uh, uh, the firing that you just uh, showed. Uh, so we essentially have a large number of uh, different components that are all integrated in one piece and did in one go, uh, which essentially means that we can simply stack these rocket, uh, we, we call them unit rocket engines. So we, we stack these unit rocket engines into a stage and similarly one more stage and the rocket is ready to go in about three to four days. Uh, this eliminates a waiting time for small satellites uh, micro and nano satellites, and this is a huge uh, uh, impediment for uh, satellites to become privatized, and particularly for the startup community to use a lot of satellite imagery. So when uh, uh, young uh, startups uh, which are making small satellites have to launch them, they have a huge queue in uh, either the SpaceX uh, launch facilities or the PSLV or uh, uh, let's say the Russian launch facilities or so, because these are large rockets that are taking large satellites and these are uh, having a right share with these small satellites. And this is actually stopping investors from investing in satellites because satellites can be easily made at least, uh, at least within a year or so, but it may take another two years to uh, uh, launch it. So since they don't see a line of sight to revenues quickly, uh, there has been a pushback. And we will try to alleviate that completely by saying uh, no waiting time, uh, bring in your satellite, we can make the rocket, assemble it in four days uh, to order and launch it for you. Uh, at this rate, uh, when we go commercial, ultimately we expect that we can, we have, uh, we, we forecast a demand for and uh, can actually supply up to about uh, one, one, one uh, launch a week or two. So that would be anywhere between 25 to 50 launches a year. That's, that's, that's essentially, that's what is made possible by the 3D printing approach. Wow, you're talking about, you know, that's quite a bit of launches that you're talking about. Four days to launch after three, full 3D printing. How expensive is this going to be? How, or, or is India, or are you at Agnikul also pioneering this kind of technology which would be competitively priced and maybe affordable, more affordable than others in other geographies, other countries? 
Indeed. So uh, price point is actually one of the very important things that we are very, very conscious about. Uh, there are multiple factors at play which are supporting us. First of all, coming out of India, uh, it's, uh, uh, ISRO has, for example, uh, developed a lot of pedigree for very uh, low, uh, low cost launches, uh, uh, being highly competitive around the world. Uh, and we would definitely have the same, we, we, we will try to emulate the same pedigree and we believe that is possible with Indian engineers developing uh, these things and uh, at the Indian cost that, that we are doing this and so on. So that is, that is the fundamental building block here. The tech is available uh, at a fairly lower price uh, uh, in India when compared to anybody else and the tech is just as super as anywhere, anywhere else. So this is a huge starting point. Uh, but beyond that, it's not just about, uh, let's say, cheap labor or whatever. We are actually talking about how to disrupt the technology itself to make it like one-tenth of what the current costs are. So what essentially happens is if you now have a large rocket that has to take a small satellite, it has to spill, still spend the same amount of energy and so on. So on a per kg basis, the small satellites actually have it really, really bad because they are having small satellites, but they have to lock, launch in, in large vehicles and they have to pay a lot on a per kg basis. Whereas since we are actually con making small launch vehicles that are, that are now going to be tailor-made to uh, whatever is the payload, which is the satellite uh, mass, uh, we expect and we have actually shown uh, internally as well as to our investors uh, a, a story by which we can uh, maintain a relatively flat cost curve over a very large range of uh, payload masses or satellite uh, sizes uh, and these uh, these will actually become cheaper and cheaper uh, when you now go to smaller and smaller satellites which is exactly the opposite story to what is available with commercial launches right so you will see a lot of uh, margins that are possible with this okay so this is this is going to be right. uh, much more interesting than uh, okay. what you normally see We'll wait for that. And uh, Professor Satyanarayanan, thank you so much for joining us on this edition of uh, Startup Central. What an episode has turned out to be. We've generated a meta humanoid on the show. We're talking about how India's pioneering full 3D printing for rocket launches into space. Uh, lots of cool things happening. Stay ahead of the curve. Keep watching Startup Central. We'll be back same time on Monday.